So it's a question, what could be done between, between right. now and 2016? Yeah. Yes. yes, my question is uh, direct to uh, Roger. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Roger, but uh, is there another road known uh, by Seaside application scheduled for May 20th? Yes, there is. Okay, and part two of my question is, I'm wondering if the goals and objectives have changed uh, since only one single big head carp was found during the December 2009 application. Can you comment on that? Um, yes. Um, what you're referring to is the plans for a second treatment of uh, poisoning part of the Chicago area waterways to look for adult Asian carp. Um, there's a section near a lock, which is near Lake Michigan, where they have repeatedly discovered the environmental DNA of silver carp. And because of that repeated discovery of the DNA in the water, they want to look for live carp, which they have not yet found by conventional fishing means, electrofishing, nets, and so on. Because the discovery of a live carp in that area would have implications for um, not only the uh, um, further monitoring, but also uh, modified operations of various structures in the Chicago area waterways. So uh, later this month, they are, the state of Illinois is planning on coordinating another road known treatment for the section of the, what they call the Calisag Ship Canal, uh, specifically to look for live carp. And they are modifying their treatment a bit compared to what they did last December, because last December they, uh, all the fish that were killed sank <laughs> in cold water. And this time they'd like to do a better job of actually finding the ones that are killed. So they're planning on setting some large seine nets and actually seining the whole section that they treat. Um, and we'll, we'll know from that whether or not there are live carp in that 